This episode of Shot Through the Heart contains scenes of violence, coarse language, and mature subject matter, including reference of animal violence. Viewer discretion is advised. (sighs) Still sleepy? Yeah. I forgot how draining driving is. I can take over, you know. Nah, it's okay. Once I get some coffee in me, I'll be ready to go. (laughs) What? Do you not trust my driving? You know it's not that, Maggie. I just want you to be able to relax this weekend. What good is a romantic Valentine's Day getaway if we're both too tired to enjoy it? Yeah, um... I don't want you to be too tired to enjoy it either. I need you to be full of energy. At least until I'm done with you. Is that so? Hello, welcome to Olga Things. My name is Penny and I'll be your server today. Have you had a chance to look at the menu? Yes, thank you. Uh, Maggie? Hi, um, can I please get a jasmine green tea and the vegetarian breakfast wrap? Sure thing. And for you? I'll have a coffee, black, and the bacon breakfast sandwich. Oh, can I get a side of sausage as well? Side of sausage? Sure. And did you want potatoes or fruit with the sandwich? Uh, Fruit, please. All right. I'll be right back with those drinks. Really, Jason? Bacon and sausage? Hey, I got the fruit too. That's healthy. You know you're supposed to avoid processed meats. It's just one meal, Maggie. I'll be fine. Besides, we're on vacation. Diet restrictions go out the window. No, they do not, Jason. I'm sorry, Max. I'm just still getting used to not being able to eat whatever I want. I know, sweetheart. But once we get your blood pressure back down, you can be a little bit more flexible with your diet. But you're going to let me have some Valentine's chocolates, right? Hmm, maybe one. Just one? Ugh, this sucks. (laughs) One jasmine green tea and one black coffee. Do you two need anything else? No, we're okay for now, thank you. All right, just let me know if you need anything. The food shouldn't be much longer. Thanks. So, how much longer do we have until we reach the cabin? Uh, Let me check. Hmm. Looks like five more hours. We have to go all the way around Portheim Peak, then there's a ferry to Vikram Island. It's still so far. It's not that bad. And the ferry will be exciting. Maybe we'll see some whales. This place better be worth it. Well, if it looks anything like the photos, it will be. True. The photos of the lake look stunning. Do you think it'll be warm enough to swim? Probably not. Unless you wear a wetsuit. Um, yeah. Maybe I'll just dip my toes in it. A wise decision. Still doing okay? Want me to top off that coffee? Oh, sure. Thank you. Did I hear you folks right? You're headed up to Vikram Island? Yeah, I booked us a cabin there for Valentine's. I'm actually originally from there. It's a lovely place. I'm sure you two will have a great time there. This cabin? Is it near Town Square? No, it's further out. In the forest. I see. Make sure you get supplies beforehand. There's only one shop in the Town Square. And if you're headed out to the forest... It'll be quite the drive to get back into town. Sounds like there's a story there. Oh yeah. A few years ago, some of those survivalist folks went out and planned to hunt for food. You know, trapping rabbits, hunting down deer. Ugh. I take it that didn't go well? Nope. The rangers found their bodies a few weeks later. Huh? I don't get it. Why didn't they just drive back into town? This is where the story gets a little confusing. Some say they had been dropped off at a campsite and they got lost in the woods, trying to find their way back into town. And what do the other people say? Well, some claim that they were killed by some sort of wild animal. Huh. Yeah, those are two drastically different ways to die. Yep. The police claimed it was a classic case of dehydration and starvation, but no photos were ever released, and if anyone came to claim the bodies, they never talked to the press. So, naturally, people started talking, and then the rumors started. Seems like a classic case of small-town boredom. Exactly. But, however, these people died. They still ended up dead. So, we always advise people to be smart and prepared if they venture outside the town. Oh, thanks for the heads up. We'll make sure we have everything before we need to head out. Yeah, thanks. Of course. Let me go check on your food. (laughs) <laughs> Uh-oh. Guess I know why this place was so cheap now. It's the forest of death. 
so ridiculous. Honestly, how does something like that even happen? You think survivalists of all people would be able to, I don't know, survive in the woods? Maybe it really was an animal attack. Maybe a wild rabbit got mad they stole its carrots. <laughs> <laughs> Stop. We really shouldn't make light of people's deaths. You're right. And we probably should check our supplies. We've got enough water for sure, but let's go over our list of meals when we get back into the car. Yeah, sure. Maybe we can stop and pick up carrots to satiate the demon rabbits. Hey, <laughs> now you're thinking. And if we don't see any, then at least we've got your Valentine's Day treat. No, oh, now you're just being cruel. Well, it's only because I care, Bugs. Uh-huh, sure. <laughs> You know, I'm glad to be off that ferry. Did you feel it tip at one point, or was that just me? Yeah. For a moment, I thought we'd sink before getting to the romantic death island. I know, right? <laughs> yeah. Anyway, I was just gonna say that I thought these roads would make me feel safer, but... Well, they're not that bad. Oh! Hmm. <clears throat> you were saying? <laughs> well, that one is mostly on me. Look, it's a remote island. We can't expect it to be completely smooth sailing. Jason, I'm just worried. If this is the more traveled road, it just makes me wonder how bad the trek to the cabin is going to be. Yeah, didn't think about that. When we get into town for the supplies, I'll make sure to ask about detailed directions to the cabin. What I have printed out probably won't be enough. Good idea. And, hey, I'm not meaning to put down the trip. I, I do love that you've done this for our Valentines. I know. I just wish I'd done a little more research into this place instead of just believing the photos straight away. Don't worry. As long as we're together, it'll be great. It's always great. This year, I want perfect. You deserve perfect. Huh. 
<sighs> you okay? Yeah, just a chill went up my spine. Probably just too used to the heat in the car. Sure that's all it is? Mm-hmm. All good. Look, the story's over there. It looks a little small, but it should have everything we need. Yeah, come on. Hopefully the owner will be good with directions, too. Oh, it's Annabelle. You go on, I'll catch up. Okay, tell her hi from me. Hey, Annabelle. Jason says hi, by the way. Whoa, wasn't expecting you to answer so fast. <laughs> I'd have thought the signal would be shoddy at best. Yeah, I think it'll be a miracle to get any signal the closer we get to the cabin. So, how's the Valentine trip going? I bet it's super cute, like something out of a movie. Oh, the island is beautiful. A little more wild than we were expecting. Everything okay? Yeah. Yeah, it, it's just, um, gosh, I could have sworn that the car that just went by was Harrison. Seriously? Are you missing us that much already? I know it's probably me just imagining things, but I feel like I wouldn't know that shade of lime green anywhere. Yeah, I mean, it is a pretty obnoxious color. Could you imagine, though, Harrison crashing your big trip? I wouldn't put it past him. So? You still haven't told me anything about the trip! Do you think Jason's whisked you away to propose? Uh, propose? Yes! Come on, think about it! Any other Valentine's, it's just been a meal at a restaurant, movie day kind of thing. But this, a romantic trip to an island cabin where it's just the two of you? I mean, he's got to be planning something, right? I mean, maybe? But if it's just a romantic trip away, that's still more than I was expecting. Proposal or not, I'm still very lucky to have a guy like him. No, oh, you two are so cute. Listen, I gotta go. If there's a signal, I'll text you later, okay? Sure thing. Be safe, both of you. <laughs> See you later. Hey, for a minute I thought you'd run off. <laughs> yeah, um, you know, I was planning on it, but you have the keys. <laughs> yep, I'm always two steps ahead. See anything else you think we need? I'll have a look around. Hey, why is the guy behind the counter giving you that look? Oh, he was like that when I walked in. Nice enough to give me the extra directions we needed. But? But when I mentioned the mysterious deaths, he told me there wasn't any more to say about that. Maybe he just doesn't like talking about something that gives his home a bad look. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, I think this is enough. Let's pay so we can get back on track for our amazing Valentine's vacation. Well, at least it still has a roof. <laughs> Barely. I'm sorry, Maggie. I didn't think it would be like this. It's okay, Jason. Honestly, it's, um, cozy looking. Let's go check out what it looks like inside. Yeah. Okay. It's not so bad. A little musty smelling, but I guess that's to be expected. If we get that fire going, it'll be pretty nice. Why don't you get settled in, and I'll start bringing in the luggage. Sure. Huh. Never thought I'd be proposed to in a place like this. But at least he's making an effort. <coughs> a little dusty in here. There. Hopefully some fresh air will help with the dust. And the smell. Hey, love. Can you start putting the food away? Yeah, I can do that. Thanks. I'm gonna go get the last of the bags. Okay, salad. Fridge. Apples. Strawberries. Pears. Fridge. Crackers. Popcorn and pasta go into the cupboard. Waters. Half in the fridge, the other half in the counter. Where's the other bag? Hey, hun, where's the other bag of food? Huh? Oh, it's on the counter. No, there were three bags at home. You only brought in two. Really? Are you sure? There's only two bags, see? I packed the bag that was in the fridge and the one on the counter. There were two bags in the fridge, Jason. What? No, there wasn't. There was. One on the shelf and one in the crisper. I didn't know that. Are you serious? Did you not double-check the list? I looked at the list and peeked into the bag. I just assumed that you had packed everything. I did pack everything. It's just not in the same bag. 
Okay, so what are we missing? We have no bread for the sandwiches, and we only have enough for two dinners and no lunches. Unless we just have some snacks, I guess. All right, well, we can go back into town tomorrow and grab some supplies. We have enough for tonight and tomorrow morning, right? Yeah, I guess. Then it's no big deal. It took us an hour to get here from town, Jace. So, we'll lose two hours tomorrow. It's really not that big of a deal. <sighs> I suppose. Listen, I'm sorry I didn't notice the second bag, Maggie. How about we just forget about that for tonight and enjoy ourselves? Then tomorrow morning, I'll make you some fruit salad, serve you breakfast in bed. Does that sound okay? But what about the- Then, after breakfast, how about we go for a little hike? See if we can find that lake? We'll relax a little bit before heading back into town, quickly grab some food, then be back before sunset. I guess we could do all of that. Great. Then that's what we will do. I just want you to be happy this weekend. I am. Honest. This is great, Jason. It's perfect. Thank you for planning all this for me. Well, it's certainly not perfect, but it's nice, right? It is. Anywhere would be nice as long as you're here with me. It's okay. You can admit it. That was the best fruit salad you've ever had. Yes, oh mighty chef, it was the best meal I've ever had the honor of eating. No other meal in the history of ever can compare. I know, I know. I'm a genius when it comes to food. <laughs> if you wrote a cookbook, I'd buy it. I know, right? Practically sitting on a gold mine idea right there. <laughs> How about we think of the gold mine later and focus on the lake you mentioned yesterday? You got it. So, we just head down this path and through the forest trail. <laughs> Lead on. Who knows? If you get us there and back in one piece, you can write an explorer's guide, too. <laughs> Chapter 1. Enjoy nature. You know, after a good night's sleep and a nice breakfast, this place is a lot more beautiful. It's really peaceful out here. I don't think anything could spoil it. Is that... <gasps> oh my god! It is! What? <laughs> hey, you guys! Small world, huh? I knew it. Harrison? Stephanie? W what are you two doing here? Isn't this wild? I mean... What are the chances? Oh, I'd say they're pretty likely, seeing as I told Harris in these plans after I booked. Ugh. Babe, is this true? You told me you put a lot of thought into this Valentine's trip. And I did. Sure. Harrison. Look, it's not like I stole their cabin from them. There's tons of them. You can't own an idea. I thought a trip away would be super romantic, too. I just couldn't afford to take you to Paris or Rome like you always wanted. I love you, and I wanted to do something special. Oh, hey. Oh, brother. So, where are you two lovebirds headed? Or would you rather we left you alone? Well, we were on our way to the lake. We wanted to see it while it was still bright before getting some food in town. The lake? Oh, that sounds so nice. Oh, but we can go see it later. No, you can come along, if you want. I mean, we're all here now anyway, right? You sure? There's plenty of other things we can do, so we're not in the way. You're not in the way, Steph. It was just a surprise to see you guys here. Great, you won't even know we're here. Of course, when we want some alone time, we'll just sneak back into the cabin. Great, thanks for the heads up on that. So excited! Lead the way, Jason! This episode of Shot Through the Heart was written by Carrie Murphy and Jenna Oliver. Starring the voice talents of Adigail Stewart as Maggie Phillips, Joey Sorless as Jason Barnes, Gail Rivera as Harrison Bell, Michelle Liliatan as Stephanie Davison, James Takahashi as Hunter, Ashley Trotto as Annabelle Collins, Shavelli Gutierrez as Penny. With music by Key Garland. Wayward theme, written, composed, and performed by Key Garland. Hi, this is Jenna from Wolf and Magpie Media. Thank you so much for listening to Shot Through the Heart, Episode 1. If you liked our audio drama, please check us out on Twitter, at Wolf Magpie Media. We're also on Instagram, under the same username. If you are able to, we do have a Ko-fi account that you can donate to ko-fi.com slash wolfmagpiemedia. If you are not able to donate at this time, that's totally okay. Just give us a like, share, comment. Everything helps. 
Thank you again for listening, and we hope you all enjoy the next episode.